time is not going to stand still. And no matter how powerful the secret keepers think they are, they only have so much time before this whole thing turns on them. There's been like 10,000 books, it seems like, that have been written about UFOs, and all of them seem to want to prove that UFOs are real, which is a very important thing to do. But AD After Disclosure intends to start from that point of view, that UFOs are real. And in this telling of the story, we want to project ahead and talk about what the future will look like after the thing that we all know that is true is announced and confirmed, which is UFOs are real, we are not alone, what's going to happen next? The whole idea of disclosure is a paradox in a way. It's an impossibility. It can never happen. It is also inevitable. It must happen. Why? Look, there's no motivation for the political powers, for the secret keepers, to give this secret up. In the short term, they gain nothing by it. Okay? They're never going voluntarily to do this. However, this is like trying to uh, be the emperor and move out to the ocean and stop the tide from coming in. I don't care how capable they think they are. The clock is ticking, time is moving ahead, and they are not going to be able to stop the human race from being in a position, in another generation maybe, of being able to detect this on our own without them. And so they're going to be forced to do it. That's why it's inevitable. Because if you start to think about how your life, your life, the lives of your, your family, your friends, your children, your, your parents, how the people you work with, how will their lives change when everyone realizes we are not alone in the universe? But beyond that, it's not like they're out there and we're searching for their radio signals and, and then we confirm one of those and realize that they're, they're, they're really, we're not alone. It's going to be that they're here. They're here in our neck of the woods, in our neighborhood, and they're here now. That changes the equation quite a bit. And considering that that's reality, it's time to wake up and start taking account of that. One of the things people forget is we are not standing still here. A mere 100 years ago, we had a society of horses pulling carts. We go from that to radios, cars, airplanes, atomic bombs, computers, guided missiles, artificially intelligent computers. We're moving into a world of nanotech, advanced biotech, interpersonal communications that are going off the charts. What is our world going to look like in 10 years, in 20 years, in 50 years? Do we honestly think we're gonna be looking exactly the same as we do today? No. There are other people, other beings, other intelligences that have been observing us for a long time. That evidence is overwhelming. They are aware that we are about to leap into their world. We've got two, we've got two things going on. We've got a private kind of disclosure where I, it's how does it affect me as a person? Do right. I go to work? Do I not go to work? Right. But then, just as it always has been, the people exist at one level and then the, the, the powers, even though they've been disclosed, are still going to be fighting about documents. They're still going to be fighting about the rules, the, the yeah. laws, the interpretations. Exactly. And that, I don't think you can, uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think you can think that's going to work itself out in, any, in a decade. It won't work out in a decade. Right. It's going to be a battle royale. Yes, it is. And nothing is determined here. Right. Just like nothing is determined in the, in the global battle right now, and as I see it, between people power and centralized control power. Disclosure will probably have the same dramatic impact as 9-11, uh, the Kennedy assassination, Pearl Harbor, all rolled into one uh, because it's such a game-changing, life-altering event and it's going to come in, in, a, in a shock, uh, really shock and awe, it's like a lightning bolt when people first realize that, that this thing that they suspected is now confirmed and at that point people are going to begin to behave in a very human way to learn that there's alien life or the life of others out there makes people reach into their own humanity and for some people it will be their finest day and for some people it simply won't. Uh, we expect to have all kinds of different reactions to disclosure and the totality of all of them is going to create uh, the brave new world that is AD. A lot of difficult questions are going to be asked about what are these objects using that makes them go? Whatever it is, it's not high-octane gasoline. There's a source of energy that allows a craft 
silently to hover indefinitely and take off instantaneously. That alone is going to revolutionize our society. There's not a single institution that won't be affected by disclosure, but like all game-changing events, there's going to be winners and there's going to be losers. Um, interestingly enough, some of the, uh, the losers uh, will also turn out to survive just fine. I'll give you a good example. The media clearly will have missed this story for decades and decades, and yet, when it comes time to cover disclosure, they'll do an, am an amazing pivot where they begin to cover their own mistakes and project toward the future. And because we, the consuming public, will be very hungry to learn more about what the world's going to be like, we'll follow breathlessly everything that the media says. So even though they, they will be a loser because they missed the story, they'll be a winner because there's no one else left to cover it. The advent of this phenomenon is the most difficult conundrum that the powers that be could ever have possibly faced. What do you do if you're the president and you're confronted with information that says not only is this phenomenon real, but it appears to be that there are very advanced intelligences behind it. And moreover, Mr. President, we have acquired some of their technology. That's a heck of a secret to maintain, and it isn't necessarily something you want to tell the world about. It is something you may want to study, you may want to review, decide what, what can be made out of it and what, um, how bad the public panic might be and so forth. The problem with secrets is that they develop their own momentum, their own profitability. And uh, after 60 plus years now, uh, these guys really have no idea about how to disable themselves from this secret. The truth of the matter when it comes to analyzing who the others are and how we will respond to that, uh, is that is that the people who actually know the most right now have not been talking for seven decades. So the question really is, uh, will we be okay with this new interaction with this non-human intelligence? The one thing we can tell you is just based on history, they have not landed on the White House lawn. They've not blown up Congress. They haven't done any of those kind of science fiction uh, uh, kind of events that one could say are War of the Worlds kind of events. It's unlikely that because we disclose that we're onto their game that they're going to do that. There's going to be a blowback that is beyond belief. 60 plus years of institutionalized lying, deception by our political leaders, by the media, which has worked hand in glove with them. This is not going to be clean, it's going to be messy. And uh, how bad that goes is not something that I can really see with my own crystal ball. But I remain an optimist. Um, part of it is a, a crazy faith in this idea called truth. I mean, that's something that I can't really justify to you, but I believe in the power and in the value of truth. And I do believe that we as a species are going to prove mature enough and when we wake up to the fact that our world is totally different than what we thought, that we will find a way to deal with it. In that sense, I'm a strong optimist for the future of our species, our civilization. All of us who have been taking part in AD After Disclosure passionately believe that this is an idea whose time has come. Not only is it going to be happening in reality, but it's important for us not to simply try to say, we have the answers, here it is for you to think about. We want you to think about it and to think about the answers with us. Uh, AD After Disclosure as a television series, as a book, as an iBook, in any of its uh, possible uh, choices for, for being expressed to people, is meant to involve people in thinking about this future. Because it's not a science fiction future, it's a science fact future. It's going to happen. It's probably going to happen in the lifetime of anybody who is watching this right now. And if that's the case, it is time to pay attention and to treat it for real, because you know what? It is real.